Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video today. I'm going to show you something that I've kind of known about. I've known about this, but I just never, I don't know. I just, I could never be bothered, but for the first time in like ages, I've actually changed my DWM setup just a little bit, just a little bit to be a little bit more user friendly. Now, one of the most annoying, I guess not annoying, but it's just the thing to do with DWM is that because it's written in C, you have to recompile it each time that you want to make a change. So for example, if I let me just see where, where is my stuff, wm config h. So if I wanted to change, I don't know, one of the colors or something, I change the value and then I'd have to open up, okay, I, you know, I re go back to the folder and then sudo make clean install and then just wait for it to compile and then you're done. But then if you want to see the changes, because whatever the change you make, you're actually not going to see it until you log out and log back in. So it's kind of annoying, but I just found out, well, I've heard about it, but I just never like cared enough, I guess. But there's essentially a way to restart DWM without having to like lose all your programs. And um, even there's a way to keep it where all the programs are in the same spot, all the, uh, yeah, all the windows that you have, they're all in the same like tabs, for example. So I'll just show you this. So essentially, if I restart, and you know what? Let me just have another, I don't know, I'll just have Brave open or something like that. So I've got a Brave tab in my second tab, and then I have these. You will notice though, it will go to like a default layout. So it might muck up a little bit, but it's not, like it could be worse, it could be worse, but it will go to tiling mode. I don't think it'll keep the exact position how it is. So let's say I change, let's say I add a new tag, and I just call this test. and you know, I'm testing it. <laughs> I want to see what it looks like. So created the new tag. I saved it. Then I compile. And then now I just restart. And then you can see it's already restarted. It's already there. So you can see it does kind of alter the windows and stuff. But if we go to my second tab, the brave tab is still here. The brave window is still here. So very, very useful. However, I think that's the only annoying part. To my knowledge, there isn't a way. Actually, you know what? Let me check. Let me check right now. Yeah, okay, so I did a quick, <laughs> quick little research and it doesn't seem like there's any way to really like restart it without like while keeping the positions. It seems like you can keep like the relative positions, but not the actual like, you know, let's say like I move it here and then I restart. It's just going to restart it like that. Like, you know, it's just going to like do a rent. It's actually it seems like the order is kind of random, if anything. So it doesn't seem like there's much that you can do about that, but Hey, at least like you get to keep the general like gist of things like, you know, that's pretty good in my opinion. Okay, so now let's actually implement this. So it's very simple. The first, there's a couple ways that you can do it actually. So there's actually two patches, uh, self restart and restart SIG. And to be honest, the different, I don't actually know what the difference really is, but personally, cause like, if we just look at this, I feel like it's just unnecessary to have a Wait, I'm, I'm stupid. In my personal opinion, I feel like it's just unnecessary to have all this extra like code that can lead to your whole config being a little bit more complicated. And like this increases the chance that when you do patch something that some hunk will fail and then you'll have to do things manually. So in my opinion, you can go this down this route. I think it's just easier to do it the way that I've done it. So the way I've done it is literally you just go to your X and an RC. You go to your X and an RC and then at the bottom when you're going to start dwm you just add something like this and actually all you need to do is just while true do dwm and then this sends like the error log there and done so you're just sending the error log to this specific area it to my knowledge i'm pretty sure like any error inputs and then again you can just like restart so i'll just move my actually no and you know we restart it's completely fine and it preserves all the positions the only, actually, no, no, I should say, no, it doesn't preserve the position. So you need another patch for that. So to do that, you need the patch preserve on restart. And you just download this. You just download it and patch it. If you don't know how to patch, you can check out my video on the complete guide on DWM. And in that sec, there's a section where I talk about how to patch and all that. So from here, the only other thing is, okay, what if I do just want to restart? Like I just want to completely log out of DWM. The way you do that, all you do, I'm not gonna do it here, but you just do kill all. You're gonna type in the command kill all dash p dwm, and that will 
fully log you out. And if that's a little bit complicated to remember, what you can do is in your RC file. So for me, it's Zish RC, but maybe you're using Bash RC. You can create an alias. So for example, I'll just create an alias like uh, kill DWM. And we just set it to equal kill all dash P DWM. And then once we're done, if I restart the terminal, if I get a new terminal instance and I do kill DWM, you can see that's actually a command. And if I was to run that, it would run that actual command and then kill DWM. But again, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, helps me out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.